All right. Hello, everybody. Happy Wednesday. Happy Earth Day. Hope you're all doing well. And thanks for showing up for uh, the new Neymar Junior Comics uh, classroom. Today we're going to be talk, or I'm going to show you guys how to um, create a comic book cover. So I'll just talk a little bit about some of the covers um, I've made in the past to start things off here. Um, this is one of the first ones that we settled on, I'll say. It wasn't the first one that we did, but it was uh, one of the first ones that we kind of solidified as the uh, inked comic book cover. Um, so my main goal with this one, of course, we wanted to showcase uh, our star, Neymar, or as he's known in the comic book series, Junior. Um, and then also his lion tattoo that he's um, become synonymous with, especially in the comic book series. Um, so uh, we definitely wanted to take those two things into account. And so this is kind of a, a straightforward cover just to look at something that's like showcasing a main character. And then over here as uh, another example. Let me close this out real quick. Over here we have an example of uh, the Social Monsters comic book cover that uh, we just released for the new series uh, that came out. So if you haven't checked it out, head over to NeymarJuniorComics.com and give it a read. Um, we're updating everything weekly. Um, so the big difference between this cover and that one is that uh, there were a lot of characters to incorporate here. Um, so you kind of had to think about that in terms of how to display each character and give them a spot on the cover. Um, but be able to direct the reader's eye and, and still create a striking cover. So kind of like you can see here, sorry, my dog wants to be in the live cast here. Uh, okay. So back here in the background, um, you can see I, I've pushed this area like with the, the tent and the balloons and this kind of background circus area is pushed back in the background. And, um, so it's there, but it's not jumping right out at you. And of course, the, the main thing you want to see is the logo so the readers can identify it. Here we have a villain. And then we've got uh, one of each of the monsters that's going to be featured in the entire series all throughout this. Um, here, 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 and here. And then of course we have um, Saber, uh, played by Neymar and Davi over here in the foreground. So just kind of a different take on the cover on how you can see so many characters all at once. And so, okay, let's close that out. So what I'm going to do today is take you guys through um, how I go about making a comic book cover. So I thought it would be fun to give this character uh, from the Inked series, um, his own cover. So I don't know if you guys have seen this guy or not, but his name is Arthur. And uh, he debuts in the Inked series, Thousand Year Harvest, um, which is available for free over at the website or in the app. So if you want to get on there and check it out and see what that character is all about. Um, so let me go ahead and take this off. One of the main things you want to see on a comic cover, one of the main things you want to think about is the viewer and how they're going to see it. And you want to sort of direct their eye around the page. Uh, so Kurt, of course, uh, first and foremost, one of the most important things is the logo, uh, which we already have set in place. So that's good to go. The inked logo right here. And then we also have the uh, creative credits right here. So Jason Burns um, is the author and oftentimes letterer and creator of the entire series. 
Um, so he's sort of the mastermind behind this. And uh, we're going to have Steve Gindron is going to be doing the uh, line artwork for this. And I'm actually going to be doing the digital colors and uh, the cover, as you're about to see, um, which uh, I didn't say. My name is Dustin Evans, of course. Okay. So we got, and then our major company here, Fan the Flame Comics. Okay. All right. So we got our logo, our credits, and our company. So I've already done the rough sketch here for what we're going to be doing. Um, so let me kind of walk you through what I was thinking here. So first and foremost, we're going to have Arthur in the forefront right here. So this is going to be our main focus of the cover. There's also a cute little squirrel character in this um, cover. So he's, I kind of wanted him poking out behind Arthur. So he's kind of, um, you know, because it looks like a very serious cover, but it's also a very playful story. So we want it to be um, playful and cute at the same time. And then over here, we have a character. I won't, I don't want to give you guys spoilers. So I'll just say um, we've got him kind of in the background and in shadow. So he's cloaked. So you kind of want to create some sort of intrigue for the reader to be able to log on, you know, or, or open a book or see the book. You know, what's going to pull them in? Why do they want to read this? So maybe they're going to see these characters and then see this one back here in the background and want to open the book and find out like what's going on. Um, so in terms of layout, sometimes what I'll do is go through and lay in blocks of color just to sort of help me see how the cover is being represented uh, and how to move the reader's eye around. So if I lay this over, you can kind of see what I was thinking here. So visually, first thing I want them to be able to see is Arthur and the, the main characters. And then we have kind of the background here. And I've got a space marked off here for where we'll put the subtitle right here. And then we have the moon in the background element. And then just some woods or sky further in the background. OK, so you kind of got an idea of my kind of what I was thinking behind all this. So let's just go ahead and jump directly into the artwork. So I've already got my rough sketch here. And what I like to do is just sort of ink over top digitally of the rough sketch. So let me pull up our reference photo of Arthur here. So what I'm going to do at this point is just come in and start inking right over top of the sketch. So this will um, take a little bit. So just bear with me as we draw. And during this stage, the, I like to keep the sketch loose so that I can make changes and still keep the creative process exciting uh, during the, the inking phase. So I'm not just you know, you're not just tracing lines or anything. You're going through and actually firming up certain shapes that you like. And defining different areas. And sometimes completely changing <laughs> different things depending on how it's going. So one of the, my favorite things I like about Arthur is his, uh, his facial hair. I think I need an Arthur beard. I don't know if my wife would agree, but uh, so you got kind of a a mountain man thing going on here. I like his ears too. He's got these big kind of rounded, floppy ears here, and this wild sort of uh, mane. If you hear any rumbling in the background, it's it's not my stomach. It's actually it's been pretty stormy here today at the studio. So it's been lightning and thundering a little bit. All 
All right, so Arthur's shaping up pretty good here. And uh, while I'm inking, I'll let you guys know we also have another class coming up on Friday with um, our let one of our, uh, our writers, letterers, creators. He does it all. Uh, Jason Burns is going to be doing a class for you guys on Friday about lettering. So that'll be pretty cool to see. We haven't done one like that yet on here. And so uh, just something to keep in mind, um, I kind of skirted over this, but one of the things I was trying to do with this cover was create kind of a coming at you sort of uh, pose, you know, like, so if it was X-Men, you know, you, you'll see Wolverine kind of jumping out at you or Batman swinging out towards the reader, that sort of thing. You want to create something that um, is dynamic and exciting and you know can really draw the attention of somebody if they're looking online or at the bookstore shopping for books or comic books all right so what i'm going to do here to kind of help with this case he has a uh, spear that he carries with him and so I created a new layer and I'm just going to use this line tool to sort of lay in the basic groundwork for it because the line tool can draw a lot better straight line than I can draw. And keeping this on another layer, uh, what's cool about this is you can just come back and erase this line out where his hand overlaps. So there's no need to really be careful with that because it's on a completely different layer it's not going to interfere with your other line art um, so layers are your friends um, when you're working digitally never hurts to make a new layer and merge it down um, the more you do it the more you work with it the more used to it you get and you kind of figure out what you like to do uh, you know for me um, I usually know when I'm going to want to erase back into an image to help create the artwork. So, give Arthur the rest of his arm here. Maybe he's got a little patch on his uh, clothing. All right, now I got to get the spearhead. And again, this is all about perspective and tricking your eye into seeing this in a way that it looks like it's coming out at you. So as things, let me just do a quick overlay here. For, from a perspective standpoint, this is kind of what we're looking at. This sort of thing. So this is your vanishing point, and this is the spear coming out at you there. Okay, so, and he's probably got some kind of twine or vine or something on here to help hold his spear together. He's kind of a, uh, uses the stuff in nature. And he'll have one of, this is going to be for his feet and leg. He's kind of a furry little guy. Let's go ahead and get his other ear drawn in here. And again, the angle of his face, you can kind of see what I have sketched out here. So you're going to be able to see some of his ear, but not quite all of it. It's a little bit at an angle. And then his other leg's going to be kind of coming out at you over here. And 
and let's see, I'm feeling pretty good about these layers. So I'm going to go ahead and merge those down, marry them together. So now instead of two different art layers, they're mixed in together. And just a heads up, today's uh, art lesson is going to be a little bit longer because I'm going to go all the way through, as far as I can anyway, um, and show you guys not only this process, this part of it, the inking, but also do some coloring for you guys as well. So. And maybe his spear is going to have a little bit of a... not damage to it but some wear and wear and tear on it it's been well used as he hunts around the woods then again if you guys haven't checked out the thousand year harvest uh inked series discover to name our junior comics.com or download the app in the app store um, and check that out it's one of my favorite stories that we did actually the monster in it is super cool i actually got to do the concept art for that and then fernando uh one of our artists drew the amazing interiors on that and then i got to color that one as well all right so arthur's looking pretty good here and i've got him kind of what I was thinking was to have him perched on a log here. So I'll start kind of laying in some of those details. I'll leave this kind of dark down below with shadow. And if you guys have any questions you want to hit me up with right now, now's a good time as I'm inking. If you have any questions on the creative process or whatever tweet me instagram me facebook me i've got them all pulled up on my phone so uh one person had asked if it's harder to draw um people or animals and i don't really um i guess i don't really think of them uh in a different sort of way i guess i just think about um not like I guess when I sit down to draw, I don't think I'm drawing a person or an animal or a building. I just think about it in terms of uh, shapes, you know, I guess. So I'd say that one thing's as hard to draw as the other, really. Um, I think for me, what sets things apart are like in this one with the perspective, you know, things like that can be really challenging from time to time, depending on how you're trying to draw your image. What I'm doing, 